Hi, everybody. We are so excited. You guys have been doing so well in the project. You guys have been really posting some incredible content, some wonderful discussions, and really getting involved. And we commend you so much. We also know that there are a few of you that aren't actually starting yet. You're delaying your start, which is totally fine. But we want to make sure that when you do that, you reach out to us for support when you get started so we can nurture you along the way. Now, one of the biggest questions that most of you have asked, myself or Sage, has been, okay, so now I'm a diplomat. Now I'm a censor. What's a diplomat? What's a censor? And so what we really thought we'd do right now is create this cool little conversation, a presentation for you that will go through each of the different health types, give you a little bit of the science, enough for you to understand it. And then it's going to, we're going to go in and discuss each of the different health types and why they are so unique and some of the standpoints of, of your specificity as that category, as that, um, as that health type. Um, so enjoy the ride. Sage is going to take you guys through this science journey and then we'll come out the other side and I'll create a bit of a cool conversation around each of the different health types and what we love and appreciate from those health types. Sage, take it away. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, I'll try to keep a very complex um, uh, subject as simple as I can. So I'll start by sharing the screen. I put together a little presentation, a basic one. So firstly, the main thing that um, we need to explain is that even though we'll have health types, you are genetically you. So you are authentically and uniquely you. Even though you'll fit into a health type, you are still an individual who has is as, the, as many people have measured, measured through PH 360, no one has come out the same. So your genes that you, you were born with, your genotype, will interact with the environment to give you your unique phenotype, which is how your genes are expressing right now at this point in time. So your phenotype will be called your health type. So what we've noticed through measuring a whole bunch of people over a quite some period of time is that there'll be consistencies in the gene expression. So there'll be patterns of behavior, um, biological responses and processes that form trends. So we call these uh, a bio trend, which is really your health type. So a bio trend forms a biotype, which is your health type. So the best way for you to explain to how we actually get to this point is to go to the first layer of science. Uh, which is embryology. So when you are an embryo, you'll have three different layers of cells or germ layers, the ectoderm, the mesoderm, and the endoderm. So the ectoderm will form your central nervous system and your skin, uh, a lot of your other sensory organs, your peripheral nervous system, your brain and your spinal cord. So if you have been given, if that, germ layer got more energy during your most crucial stages of development, you form more of an ectomorphic body type, but I'll go into that a little bit later. Your mesoderm will form your muscles, your circulatory system, your reproductive system, bone, cartilage, heart. Um, a lot of the organs that are involved in movement. So if you have been given, if you've got more energy given to the mesoderm layer during your crucial parts of development, you'll form more of a mesomorphic body type. The third layer is your endoderm, which will form a lot of the, the gut tube and your digestive um, organs. So your, your thymus, lung, pancreas, your prostate, your gastrointestinal tract, liver and thyroid. So if your more energy was given to the endoderm in your crucial parts of development, you'll form more of an endomorphic body type. So I'll go into that a little bit now. Your ectomorph, as you can see, is taller and slimmer with more skin and more central nervous system, more, more thought process going on because more of the, the energy was given to the endo, ectoderm layer. The mesomorph, if you can see, is a little bit more muscly, a little bit more built for action because more of the uh, mesoderm got energy during those parts of development. And then the endomorph, they're really, really good at digesting their food because the gastrointestinal tract got more energy during that, those phases of development. Now, these health types um, or these somatotypes or these biotypes 
The way we measure them is by measuring the bone structure. So the bones won't change during environmental influences after you have been fully grown. So that's why we measure your skeleton because it will give us information on the bone structure, which then tells us more about your biotype. So as I mentioned, there were the three types, the three types, no, I don't want to say main types, but the three probably primary types, I could say, the mesomorph, which forms our activator, the ectomorph, which forms our sensor, the endomorph, which forms our guardian, and then the hybrids. So the hybrid between the mesomorph and the endomorph will uh, form our connectors. The hybrid type between the mesomorph and the ectomorph will form our crusaders. And the hybrid type between the ectomorph and the endomorph will form our diplomats. So that's basically how your health types will be formed. So now I'll let Shana move into delving into the health types a little bit more so you can get a little bit more of an idea on the, the characteristics of the health types. So we're starting with the sensor. Hey guys, so this is one of my favourite things to talk about is all the six different categories and I've done many different uh, analogies of, of understanding the different life aspects and how each health type uh, shows up. So the sensor, as you can see, they're a taller frame, more slight. These guys are very artistic, very creative, but as their name gives, it's their, about sensing and sensatory. So they do need a little bit more of the quiet, more isolation lifestyle. They will be thoroughly enjoying our current climate in the world because they are getting plenty of time to themselves. But it's about ensuring that they have enough time to desensitize their senses and their brain to help their digestion be more effective because their digestion is actually quite sensitive compared to a lot of the other health types. They do, which means they, these guys are the ones that love stews, broths, uh, goulashes, all the well-cooked dishes. A slow cooker is a sensor's best friend. Um, and small portions. As you can see, their body is more slight, so they're more like a bird. Um, and so they will pick and graze throughout the day rather than having a large substantial meal because they understand that will make them feel heavy and sluggish. So it is more about the tiny bites to continue their energy. They also don't hold much energy on their body in the form of residual uh, like fat or tissue. So their body burns more effectively in the, the moment, in the now. So ensuring that they have a consistent food source is very important. The other thing to mention right now is we're coming into the cooler climate here in Australia is that these guys need to have warmth. They love humidity and warmth. So it is vitally essential that these guys rug up and keep warm at all times, especially around the neck. Let's go into activator. So our activators are our, I, I like to call them the short, fiery, aggressive ones, but not always. It's more about the fact that they love to say no and they love a challenge and they love to ask questions. These guys are the fun ones when they want to be, but they're also actually very much like a cat where they also thoroughly enjoy their own space, their own time and their own uh, choice of what they are or are not doing. These guys are, love to be challenged. They love variety and change, but all on their own terms. These guys have more of an hourglass figure for the females as well as the guys. Um, they love their activity. When an activator is in their healthiest, best expression, they are moving, they are active, they are doing rather than thinking, pondering and procrastinating like some of the others. So it's really important that these guys eat. Again, these guys haven't got the greatest amount of residual energy on their body. So it's very important that they continue to eat small meals frequently throughout the days and strangely one thing that most people don't realize is these guys need to have their largest meal in the evening not grug not gargantuous but a more generous portion of carbohydrates in the evening because their body runs on hormones such as um, adrenaline and um, cortisol so their body is naturally running at a, an excited continuous state so in the evening it's really really beneficial to slow them down with a good hit of carbohydrates and good well-cooked proteins so their body will go into a sedated state and send their body into a good amount of sleep so they can bounce up first thing in the morning and get going at their day let's go into the next one as we go through these guys if you have any questions thoughts or concerns or excited moments or aha moments 
please feel free to comment below and pop them so that we can reminisce, share or laugh along with you. Um, then we have the guardian. Our guardians, as you can see, are our, our larger, more nurturing bodies. These guys are the ones that right now are, are a blessing in the famine because these guys hold excess weight when their people, when their tribe, when their society is in demand or in threat, these guys will naturally, biologically hold excess weight so that they will have the reserve to care for all of us throughout the entire stress time and further on as we come back out of it. So the guardians naturally are uh, a bigger, sturdier body type. They have larger bone structures. Um, they can be a lot taller uh, and some of them can be a little shorter, but they are more stout uh, with their strong bones and they have a capacity to hold a lot more muscle than any other health type, but it might also have a, a little bit of a generous layer of uh, fatty tissue over the top of it but not for all, don't worry. Depends on what state you're in and, and what your stress levels are doing at that time. And that's where it's really important for you to reach out for support from people like your coaches and your community and your family. Um, the guardians really do conserve, um, like we said. So it's important to make sure that they understand when their food should be had, in what capacity, for what reason, but monitoring what stresses you and what nurtures you, which is where we go back into our health profile and make sure that we're following along with the Shea app and all of the outputs that are there. It's We're able to keep it very simple for you guys to understand what is nurture and what is not necessarily nurture for you. So make sure you are reaching out for support and, and knowing that your, your communication is very important now. Our crusader the horse, the one that is just, they just go and go and go. They love a mission and a cause, or they should do. If they don't have a mission or a cause, this is where we can see stress and disconnection from purpose. And these guys can get a little bit lost and or uh, caught up in addictive behaviors. So these guys are an incredible mind. They, as their name shows us, they are the crusader. They are on the mission. They are there, but often they will forget to look after themselves or notice the more intimate requirements of life uh, because they are too busy doing the tasks, doing the job, or if something is imposing them that doesn't seem to make sense to their task or their mission, they may not actually uh, connect to it nor give it the energy the rest of us might like. So really communicating with these guys and understanding what their schedule is, what their desired outcome is and finding out where the communication needs to be so that you can all have uh, the aspect of your crusader partner or friend or family that you want whilst not getting in the way of their mission. It's very important. But these guys like a strict regime, if it doesn't, if it makes sense to do the thing, they will do the thing. If it doesn't make sense not to do the thing, then why would they not do it? So crusaders are all about um, method and all about structure and all about logical chronological sense their brain works very effectively but very much like the senses these guys have a uh, a stomach that is very uh temperament oh, very sensitive very sensitive because their brain is very active their stomach can be very sensitive so they need a like the sensor to have more carbohydrates to fuel their incredible brain but they also have a, a body that has a spine that can be quite rigid. So flexible movements, not loading their body with heavy weights like a guardian. Their body needs to be flexible and agile and their spinal rotation movements are very important. Connectors. Our connectors. The fun, beautiful, friendly, outgoing abundant, bountiful connectors. <laughs> These guys are the ones that can have a great relationship with their food and their people as long as they have good people and good food around them. You guys will generally, um, everything is via osmosis. So you guys connect to other people, you guys connect other people, but you also need other people to feel happy, healthy and strong. Um, these guys are the ones that will quite often pay a compliment to you in order to get a compliment back because they also know that when they make you feel better, you're a better energy and a better person to be around and that will naturally help them to feel better continuously. These guys have a strong, sturdy body. Their body is one of the most capable for strength, the most capable for uh, endurance. They're, they're, they're generally classed as the life of the party but it's really important that they do what they need to, to stay happy and healthy and active with good mental stimulation and things like sunshine and their best 
friend is the definite parameters to keep these guys in a good balance. These guys will take on a lot of everyone else's energy and emotions. So it's very important that our connectors have someone safe and secure to vent, to pour their thoughts and their emotions to, so that they can get it off their chest and stay the life of the party and the happy, beautiful, bubbly person that they are. They do sense a lot of the environment around them, but they really, because of that, they need to make sure they have fulfilling food, that their food is pleasant to look at and their food is pleasant to taste then making sure they have continuous connection with others. So especially at the moment, these guys really need to have the phone calls and the Zoom calls to be connected. The diplomats. This is what I am. Diplomats are a very nurturing, strong body. We are methodical. Something I'm noticing throughout this, this uh, period of the reset is that the, uh, the constant flow of energy, but being in touch and balance with our energy is very important for a diplomat. Very, too much erratic behavior would cause stress. We have the longest, one of the longest digestive tract. So it's actually about having uh, only a few meals per day, about five to six hours apart. Um, and you're making it sure that, that it is high in vegetables and low in animal proteins to avoid any fermentations. Generally diplomats, our main protein is actually at lunchtime. Dinners, need to be a lot lighter, same with the guardians, a lot lighter at the dinner time, make your lunches the main feeding point so you have more energy to go into the afternoon and uh, really push out some good energy expenditure through that time. Our mind generally is slower in the morning and much more vibrant, much more energetic in the afternoon after we've had our wonderful lunches. Uh, and we quite often will steam on into the evening where our brain capacity can be quite functional, at its highest function during dinner time and till about eight or nine o'clock. Um, so it's very, very normal for our diplomats to sleep in or need to sleep in and then stay up quite late. These guys are the night owls for sure. Great, we're done. All of them. Oh, I want to roll. They're just falling in love with all I the health know. types. <laughs> I know. I was captivated listening to you. So, yeah, we hope that's cleared everything up for all of you. If you have any questions, just pop them below. Um, but otherwise, enjoy. Enjoy. And let us know what you feel. If you guys want to hear more science and more of the, the intricate stuff, let us know. We want to know what you want to hear more about. What is your mind fixating on and what can we do to assist you more in this process and with falling in love with your health type and your Shay app? Because your Shay app, even though we have the six different types, your Shay, your Shay app is your specificity. So no matter what, I was actually walking with a friend the other day and she kept asking me about different foods and I kept referring her back to Shay. And she finally got to the point where she went, oh, oh I'll just, I'll go back to Shay. <laughs> so remember, all the answers are within your Shay app. And we're here to help you with that as well. Cool. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>